Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new rotary trimmer from Tim Holtz. I was really really lucky to receive this for my birthday from my husband and I thought it would be fun to come and unbox it together. So it's going to be a very quick video but that's what we're doing today. So it does come in a rather large box um, I can't fit the box completely in short, but it is a 12 and a half inch trimmer, which is one of the things that really appealed to me. Now, my box has got a little bit of damage. You can see it's just there and there. Now, I don't know whether that happened in transit or whether it's where my husband had it hidden somewhere. I honestly don't know, but the box is just a kind of cosmetic thing anyway. So let's see. That's obviously what it's going to look like when we get it out of the box. There's lots of information on the box. So let's get this open. I don't think there's any sticky tape. So there we go. We can just undo the top and slide it out. There is some cardboard inside as well. Here we go. Wow, what a thing of utter beauty. It feels really sturdy. You can feel the quality. I say that for straight off the bat. There's no instructions in there, but obviously it's a rotary trimmer, so how hard can it be? Um, there are videos online as well of Tim Holtz using this and showing you. So there's an arm here and here so there's two you can pull out like that and that gives you extra width across here so then we've got the 12 inches um now i think this bit has like a motor or something in it i'm just looking to see if i've got any scrap card that we can try cutting let's uh, grab some and have a go so i have heard it takes a little bit of getting used to i've just got some scrap card here let's just slide it in it does make a very satisfying cut noise it's cut nicely. I don't feel any resistance on it. I thought someone said there was a bit of resistance, but I'm not really getting that. So, okay. Now I'm noticing on the actual bed, there's various different measurements. So that you've got four by six there, three by five, two by three and a half. So there's different measurements for different size cards. There's 12 inch, so I'm guessing that can't be the half. How is this 12 and a half? I don't know. Okay. Um, so we have inches along here. We have centimetres at the top. Then we have inches in the middle and across the top and the same at the bottom. So you'll always be able to line your paper up, which is nice. You've obviously got somewhere for your fingers to go so you can hold this down and not slice them on the blade so yeah really looking forward to trying that out putting it through its paces and then i will come back and let you know what i think but i am really happy to have that it's kind of a backup um for my paper trimmer my paper trimmers get absolutely hammered. If you saw my recent video, I have just invested in a brand new trimmer and I'll be doing a review on that soon. So when I have used this one for a few weeks, I will come back and do a review on what I think of these. My review videos aren't sponsored. They're just my opinion. I'm not paid to do them. And as I say, it's just my opinion. So please nobody sue me if you don't like what I have to say. Um, but... I try and be positive and I try to be fair but most of all I'm honest. So I think that's as much as I can do for today's video. 
Um, we've unboxed it, we've had a quick look. I like the satisfying cut noise it makes, I have to say. I don't feel any resistance on here. Um, I don't know, I don't have that much experience with um, guillotines. It's sturdier than my last one was, but as for motion, I'm not really feeling the difference, it has to be said. But we'll see. I'll use it for a few weeks and then I will let you know what I think. So thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of the trimmer in the comments section. Let me know if you have this and you have any tips for using it. And I will be back soon with more videos. So until next time, thank you so, so much for watching today. Take good care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.